Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Tuesday, September 12th. I'm Haley Ryan. And I'm Jenna Rafel. Please wait for the rise for the pledge. <laughs> Hello, my name is Carly Williams, and I'm from the Howard School. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A moment of silence. Hello, my name Please is be Carly seated. Williams. Parking. Reminder to our student drivers that you must have a parking pass. You will need a completed form, available in the office, a copy of your license and registration, and $25. Beginning today, all cars will be checked to make sure the parking sticker is adhered to your window. Students without a sticker will be called to the office to discuss and, re and repeat offenders will lose their privilege of driving to school. Any questions or concerns, please come to the main office. Wildcat leaders. Today, the Wildcat leaders will be meeting with Miss Martin's 7th grade power block. After the five-minute freeze, all leaders should report to room 105. The Drama Club is getting ready for a new season and looking for some fresh talent. If you love to act, sing, and perform, or wish to be part of the tech crew behind the scenes, drama may be for you. Opportunities are in the works for the fall production, the Massachusetts Educational Theater Guilds Festival, or the Spring Musical, as well as field trips to theater productions. Join us to learn more at the first meeting today in the auditorium at 210. Please see Ms. Brogna if you have any questions. If you love to... Uh, if you love to debate issues, think globally, and want to be part of a proactive part of the solution, then Model UN may be the club for you. Any student grades 7 to 12 interested in participating in Model UN should attend the meeting taking place in the Learning Commons this Friday during Power Block. Hey there, students. Happy second week of school. We are looking for students interested in joining the school's color guard. We use flags, rifles, and sabers to entertain during pep rallies, football and basketball games, and to enhance the marching band during parades. In addition to our regular fall schedule, we are planning a Halloween Fright Fest at Six Flags New England. Come to our informational meeting this Wednesday, right after school in the band room. The college visit list is now available on the school website under guidance department. This document will constantly updating, so please check back on a regular basis. There is a sign-up sheet in the guidance office, and you will also need a pass to give to your teacher. The first weeks of visits are as followed. September 18th at 9 a.m. is Leslie College. September 19th at 8 a.m., Westfield State. September 21st at 8 a.m., Simmons College. At 9 a.m., Curry College. At 10.30 a.m., St. Amesland's College at 1.30 p.m. Bay State College. Sophomores and juniors, mark your calendars. The PSAT tests will be administered on Wednesday, October 11, 2017 at the West Bridgewater Middle Senior High School. Please contact guidance with any questions. Sophomores, applications are being accepted for the Hugh O'Brien Youth Foundation, Hobie, seminar in the guidance office. Each year, West Bridgewater has the opportunity to send one sophomore to this all-expense paid weekend seminar being held at Bentley University. This leadership program introduces high school sophomores to distinguished leaders from various sectors such as business, education, technology, government, science, and the arts. Sophomores are encouraged to apply for this opportunity. Interested students can obtain more information in the guidance office. Last year's delegate was Valerie Poliafico. Application deadline is Thursday, October 26th. Attention high school students <coughs> interested in joining student council this year. The first meeting will be being held before school tomorrow at 7 a.m. in room 204. New and returning members, grades 9 to 12, are welcome to attend. Please see Mrs. Simone if you have any questions. Attention all 2018 yearbook staff. We will be holding our first meeting during Power Block on Thursday, September 14th. Please report to the office conference room with your Chromebooks. If you have any issues, you must see Mrs. DiLorenzo and Mrs. Simone. Attention seniors, there will be a class meeting Thursday, September 14th in the auditorium in Power Block. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Winchell is looking for two people willing to announce the plates at home football games. If you are interested, please see Mr. Winchell in room 215. The boys soccer team opened their season with a 2-0 win against Bristol Plymouth yesterday. CJ Dunn and Kevin Lawler scored the goals. Luke Sarantopoulos had an assist and Justin Baker had a strong game in the net. The boys' JV soccer team beat Bristol Plymouth 3-2. Colin Shamey scored two goals, while Ben Fuller scored the other. The lead was preserved with an outstanding save by Will Hall in the dying seconds. 
Varsity Field Hockey picked up their third one of the season in Westport yesterday. After battling the Bugs in a scoreless first half, they closed out the game with four goals. Hannah Rolf had a hat trick with Mia Smith adding a goal of her own. Grace Flynn was all over the field and helped keep the team afloat, while the oar went to Haley Devery for her first shutout. The Wildcat Cafe is serving barbecue pulled pork panini sandwiches and fresh corn on the cob on the hotline today. Tony's French bread pizza is at the pizza station and the grill is offering burgers and a chicken fajita boat. Freshly made wraps, subs and salads are in the grab and go fridges and the featured wrap is Asian chicken with crunchy coleslaw, pea pods and chow mein noodles. Assorted breakfast sandwiches and warm donuts will be offered at break. That's all for the announcements today. On behalf of Jenna, myself and the morning crew, have a great day. <laughs>